good and you focus at your brother. And at your brother, your bro at your richer. Today this video is now part 28 on the European driving laws. So, um, <clears throat> I'm like, have we done it? Now today we're doing European driving laws. And after that I'll be doing the ones from Asia. You know, like Japan, China, Thailand, Taiwan, uh, blah 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 blah, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but first, gotta get doing some Europe then. As much as I can as possible. I'm like halfway done on the, the amount I got left. Um, but let's see if we can make this all complete really soon. <clears throat> so, today in this video, so today in this video, I'll be talking to y'all about the driving laws from Iceland. So, this is, so is gonna be quite interesting. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, before I start, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, comment. So like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you guys, uh, comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notif hit the notification bell and or hit the notif notif uh, can't talk. Notification bell and hit all so you're alerted when I make brand new uploads. All right. <coughs> so <coughs> without without any further ado, so without any further ado, let's begin. <coughs> so. Uh, the first question I got, so without any further ado, I can't talk, without any further ado, let's begin. <clears throat> so the first question, first question I got is, uh, what are the driving rules in Iceland? So this is Iceland, uh, driving rules and regulations. Uh, driving, uh, driving on the right hand side of, so drive on the right hand side of the road and overtake on the left. So over, overtake on the left. So overtake on the left. Um, drive drivers and <coughs> drivers and all passengers. So <coughs> drive drivers and all so drivers and all um, drivers and all passengers. So passengers are required uh, to wear to wear seat belts. So seat belts. Uh, children under uh, three years old, so children under uh, three years old, so less than three years old. Uh, measuring less, so children under three years old, uh, measuring less than a hundred than a hundred and fifty centimeters, so one hundred and fifty centimeters, so one hundred and fifty centimeters must be seated in an must be seated in an in an in an appropriate a child seat for their size. <clears throat> question two. So question two. What are the car regulations in Iceland? So this is the rules of the road in Iceland. In Iceland, you drive on the right. So you drive on the right. So you drive on the right and over. So you drive on the right and over. So you drive on the right and overtake on the left. <clears throat> Wear a crash helmet. If you're riding a motorcycle, use dipped headlights uh, day and night all year round. Horns may be um, used when either overtaking or in cases of immediate danger. So in cases in cases of immediate danger, uh, there are no highways or motorways in Iceland, so there's no tolls to pay. So a bit of an advantage, I guess. But also a disadvantage because they don't have highways or motorways. But I also advantage because you don't have to pay for the tolls. I don't even know how much. I don't even know how much there are in Iceland. But oh well. Anyways, question number three. So number three, is driving in Iceland the same as the UK? <clears throat> this is interesting. Driving driving in Iceland can be very different to the can be very different to the UK. Speed limits are low. So they have low speed limits, and the distances between <coughs> the dis the distances between towns are far greater. Some main routes or routes, so main routes or routes can be either gravel or dirt tracks. So gravel or dirt tracks. <coughs> routes can be uh, narrower, so narrower, so way more narrow than you might be familiar with. Uh, question number four: Is driving difficult in Iceland? 
so like the, you know the driving conditions and you know like the so what are the driving conditions are like in Iceland and so on and so forth. Driving conditions. So driving conditions. So conditions in Iceland can be challenging. So challenging. So challenging, especially in winter. Or I would add, or in rural areas. On the ring road, for example, and other paved roads, uh, driving in driving in Iceland is very easy. So very easy. So easy. The roads are roads are good quality with uh, clear signs. <coughs> say clear signs, and generally not very busy. So that's quite cool. Alright, next up, question number five. What's the round? Of, this is an interesting one as well. What's the round? Of, the roundabout rule in Iceland. In Iceland, uh, traffic on the uh, on the inner lane, so like inside lane, uh, is a uh, two lane two lane roundabout. <coughs> so two lane two lane roundabout always has priority. So priority. Priority over traffic on the outer lane. Many for many foreign travelers. For example, like me, I'm like a I'm pretty much a foreign traveler. Like I'm not really from here. Like when I grew up here as a kid, but like I was from Lithuania and Latvia, so I'm pretty much a foreigner almost. But like uh, I don't know. So many many foreign foreign travelers are unaware of this rule so unaware, unaware of this rule and therefore roundabouts can get very dangerous <coughs> depends on how you drive around a roundabout depends on how you drive normally other times you just like you know like forget it just drive recklessly and you just end up crashing and you're just either injured or killed <coughs> so always be careful when you're going around a roundabout just be slow and steady, like a, a steady speed, almost. Yeah, so like a lot of that was in Iceland. Iceland traffic on the inner lane always. A two-lane roundabout always has priority over traffic on the outer lane. Many, many foreign travelers uh, are unaware, are unaware of this um, rule, and therefore roundabouts can get very dangerous. Alright, next up, this one's uh, kind of all, also an, like, an interesting one, almost. So, quite an interesting one, this one. Uh, this is bonus question number one, aka question number six. Um, <coughs> it's, what happens if you don't pay to park in Iceland? And this one kind of interested, interested me the most. And I like, wonder what happens if you don't. So, here's the answer: if you don't, if you if you don't pay, if you don't don't if you don't pay for parking in Iceland, you'll receive a, you'll receive a, I can talk you'll receive a parking ticket. So you'll receive a parking ticket. So a parking ticket. <coughs> and then a bit, like I said, it's like a bit harsh. Like, well, like. In the U like in the UK and like in Latvia, like when you park, you don't really get a ticket at all. Depends on whereabouts you park though. <clears throat> so what happens if you don't pay to park in Iceland? So what happens if you don't pay to park in Iceland? If you don't pay for parking in Iceland You'll receive a parking ticket. You can pay this immediately to get a to get a discount. However, if you don't pay at all, so if you don't pay at all, you'll receive an additional charge that'll 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 be sent sent to your CRC. I shorten it down. It, it basically it stands for car rental company. So, car rental company. <coughs> car rental company. 
car rental company. It's a car rental car rental company. It's a car rental company. All right, next a bonus question number bonus question number two. So bonus question number two. Aka question number seven. Are cars in Iceland autom are cars in Iceland automatic? There's also manual cars in Iceland. Rental cars in Iceland uh, are equipped with both manual and automatic uh, transmissions. I want to say gearboxes just from throwing it down a little bit so that it's maybe easier. <coughs> so the cars are like both equipped with both auto and manual gearboxes. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, uh, next up is the question on my own. This is bonus question number three. So then bonus question number two, aka question number seven. Oh, hold on. So so then bonus then bonus question number two, aka question number seven. Now on bonus question number three, <coughs> aka question number eight. How fast can you, how fast, how fast can you drive around Iceland? So around Iceland. <coughs> uh, the ring road is almost entirely paved, entirely paved with asphalt. Or paved with tarmac or whatever you call it. Which means the speed limit uh, for the vast majority, majority of your journey would be 90 kilometers an hour. Which is around, around like roughly fifty-five miles an hour. So, in urban urban areas, the speed limit is fifty kilometers. So fifty kilometers an hour. <coughs> so fifty fifty kilometers an hour. So fifty kilometers an hour. Which is rough. So fifty kilometers an hour, which is roughly thirty like thirty miles an hour, somewhere around there. Yeah, thirty miles an hour. On rural uh, paved roads, the speed limit's 90, so 90 kilometers an hour. So 90 kilometers an hour, <coughs> which is roughly 55 miles an hour. So 55 miles an hour. <coughs> 55 miles an hour. On rural gravel roads, uh, the speed, the speed limits, <coughs> the speed, speed limits. Um, 80, so 80 kilometers an hour, so 80, 80 kilometers an hour, which is like 50 miles an hour, so 80 kilometers an hour, 50 miles an hour. question I got. <coughs> and this was bonus question number four, aka aka question number nine. So then bonus question number three is bonus question number three aka question number eight. Now on bonus now on bonus question number four aka question number question number nine <coughs> So question number nine How difficult is it to drive in Iceland? Uh, you may also have trouble adapting to our uh, stringent speed limits. Like I say strict speed limits or something? I don't know. So strict speed limits. Between 50 to 90, so 50 to 90 uh, kilometers an hour, <coughs> which is roughly 30 to 55 uh, miles an hour. So mi 
half an hour, half an hour, if you're used, uh, if you're used to uh, cruising down the highway, <coughs> say cruising down the highway at 120 kilometers an hour. So 120 kilometers an hour, that would be around. Be right around 74.5, 70, 74 miles an hour in general. So if you're used to um, cruising down the highway, or the highway at 120, the highway at 120 kilometers an hour. <coughs> so 120 kilometers an hour, which is around, which is so 120 kilometers an hour, was around 74 miles an hour. So 120 kilometers an hour. Which is around 74 miles an hour. Come on, huh? Sorry about it, because like sometimes I'm reading because I can't really say it right. So I can't really say it right. And if I get this feeling I'm saying the same like like process over and over again, like kilometers an hour, but it's miles an hour. It just feels like I'm I get the sense that like I'm just saying the the same thing over and over again. I don't know why. So 120 kilometers an hour, which is 74.5 miles an hour. There we go. Whenever I say kilometers an hour or miles an hour, it kind of sounds like I'm saying the same thing, like almost combined, or like the same words over and over again. I don't know why. Anyway, <clears throat> so 120 kilometers an hour, 74 miles an hour. If you don't really have any <coughs> 4x4 four four, like you know off-roading like off-road driving like off-road driving experience um go for like you know the rough the rough and tougher the rough and tougher roads say so the rough and tougher the rough and tougher roads especially the F roads um in Iceland can be a bit nerve-wracking so for those who don't know what F roads are, I got the answer here. <coughs> so for those who are new uh, to what F roads to what F roads mean in Iceland, <coughs> um, F roads in Iceland, so in Iceland are unpaved, unpaved, rough mountain roads that lead. <coughs> That lead uh, to the con that lead to the country's country's um, <coughs> country's highlands. Say country's highlands. Say highlands and more rem more remote and more remote. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <coughs> so to the country's so F roads and I. F road, so F roads in Iceland are unpaved, uh, rough mountain, rough mountain roads. So rough mountain roads, mountain roads. <coughs> so mountain roads that lead to the country's, country's high, country's highlands. So country's highlands. So highlands um, and more, more uh, remote areas. So more remote areas. They're also known as high as a highland road. So highland, highland roads. So highland, so either highland roads or mountain roads. <coughs> All right. So I wanted to. So I wanted to <coughs> work. All right. <coughs> so uh, that will be it for tonight. Uh, sorry if I messed up a little bit. I apologize and. Uh, <coughs> Coughed a little bit, like almost at the end, but uh, I'm okay. Anyways, guys, so that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. Uh, if you guys if you guys like this video, uh, like it, like it, subscribe. So like it, subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. Hit the notification bell and hit all so you never miss these brand new uploads. All right, so that'll be it. Gotta go. I'll see you guys in the next video. But that's fine. Stay safe. Have a great evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, folks. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys soon. Good night.